I just love it when a plan comes together. Let me tell you what happened. So November or December of last year, I received a phone call from a veteran that was wanting to move from Texas to Tennessee. Now, the situation was he was a firefighter in Texas and wasn't able to transfer, relocate, anything along those lines. He was going to have to stay back in Texas. And their apartment there was like $2,000 a month. His wife was going to get a job in Tennessee, and then she was going to move here and begin working the job, and he was wanting to stay back there. The difficulty arose in that their rent there being, I think it was $2,000 a month, was going to be too much because we would have to count his rent against their debt to income ratio as well as the new housing payment for the home in Tennessee. So we come up with a plan. What One of the things that they were going to do is to be able to show the underwriter that they could afford that payment every month. They were going to take and put the, I think it was a $2,500 a month house payment they were shooting for. They were going to take and put the $2,500 a month into savings so that six months down the road, we could show the underwriter, hey, look, we can afford this. We've been actually paying ourselves into our savings account this amount of money every month anyway, to document the fact that we could afford this payment. So we got that taken care of. They did everything like we talked about. At that time, she was planning on getting a job where she was going to start mid-July, meaning the earliest that we could close would be mid-May. And just like we talked back then, her her job starts July 15th. So we closed exactly two months before. We did run into some hurdles along the way. They found the manufactured home. The manufactured home had been moved before which VA is okay with. None of the other loan programs, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, USDA, none of those other loan types would have allowed it. And to be honest with you, as I discuss this in loan officer forums and loan officer groups, many loan officers were unaware that you could do this on VA, that VA had the exception that the other loan programs didn't. Having done this for a while, having done this type of loan before, I was able to give them the answer that they could move forward and buy the home that they wanted. The only caveat was that we did have to get an engineering report, which benefited them. They wanted to make sure that the home was moved and put back together properly for their benefit as well. Another situation came up in that the property was on a well. And on FHA and VA loans, whenever there is a water well, you have to get a water test and make sure that the water is healthy and safe. We want to make sure that the veteran's not going to get sick or the home buyer's not going to get sick when they're drinking the water in their new home. And it failed. So there was a treatment that we had to go through. There were some professionals. The agents were involved in helping us find the right people in that area to go in and address the problem and get the well retested. And we've got the water is in good shape now. So I'm really excited that we're able to get the loan closed today, just like we planned. Great clients, great veteran to work with. We came up with a game plan. They followed the game plan to a T and we were able to accomplish our goals and get them into their home.